In this video, we'll walk through an example of taking a word problem and converting that into an algebraic expression. We have a rectangle's length is 10 less than 8 times its width. If we let x represent the rectangle's width, find the rectangle's area in terms of x. So first we're going to take what we know, and what we know is that we have a rectangle, so we're, we'll draw a diagram. It's a nice way to start word problems is to draw a diagram, and we are told to let x represent the width, so we'll put x right there. For the length, the long side of this rectangle, we're told that the length is 10 less than something, less than 8 times its width. So 10 less than 8 times its width. So we have to think about which way we're going to say. Are we going to say 10 minus something or something minus 10? Well, think about this. If you have 10 less than $100, you don't have $110. You have 90. You're, you're doing 100 minus 10. That's 10 less than $100. So 10 less than something means that you're going to, do, going to say something minus 10. Right, this is 100 minus 10 has nothing, nothing to do with this problem. It's just a way to explain the 10 less than thing. Okay, 10 less than what? Well, 10 less than 8 times its width. So 8 times its width, x is its width. So 8x minus 10 is the length. So the area equals the width times the length, or the way we have it, the width is x and the length is 8x minus 10, so that is an expression, absolutely. Uh, it may ask us to to uh, multiply that, so we're going to say that's 8x squared minus 10x, and that is the area of the rectangle in terms of x.